Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back, Pisces. How you doing? How you doing today? I hope you guys are having a good day. I pray you guys are having a good day. Happy June. June, June. You may like Johnny Cash. I like Johnny Cash. His wife, her name was June. You know, Johnny Cash, he pursued June for so long. I don't know how many times he asked her to marry him. Okay? So she finally said, yeah. And you know, they lived happily ever after. These two were meant to be together. Okay? But yeah, there's something significant about Johnny Cash and June. Okay? But yeah, we are... <laughs> We're officially still in Gemini season. You may be connected to a Gemini. Pisces, this reading may not resonate, honey. It may not be your story. Take the reading how it resonates. Go check out your birth chart. See what the placements are in your chart. If you have your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your north node, your midhaven, in the sign of Pisces. This may be your message. You know, Pisces is the mystic. They're magical. They're deep. They're erotic. They're eccentric. You can't hold these people down. If you try to hold these people down, it's like some birds are not meant to be caged. A Pisces simply is just not meant to be caged, honey. They're free-spirited, free-flowing free individuals that you cannot try to cage these people in, okay? They're very imaginative. They have so much compassion. They're that friend that you can certainly talk to because they're going to listen to you. They got healing powers, baby. Pisces, they know how to heal. They know how to heal you. Okay, honey? You need that You need that loving touch. Go get you a Pisces, honey, if you can deal with them being free-flowing, okay? Because some people try to control these people, and you can't, okay? They cannot be controlled. They're very, they can be controlled, but they're not going to be controlled, if that makes sense. They're very sympathetic. They're mystical. And people adore Pisces. Like, they have the most beautiful eyes in the Zodiac. Okay, you would always recognize the Pisces by the eyes. Their eyes are very magical. They are a magical sign. They're magical people. You know, Pisces is a water sign, and they deal with the water element. And water is, you know, I'm hearing still waters run deep with these guys. Still water runs deep. They're very spiritual as well. Extremely emotional. Okay, their emotions can be their downfall at times. They may have a tendency to try to escape their reality by drinking, drugging. You know, Pisces deals with the underworld. These guys, you know, some Pisces can go pretty, pretty deep out there in that underworld. I don't want to get into it too much on my channel, but just just know that Pisces are, they can be into the psychedelic. They could be into the weird things of life. They could be into the occult, prostitution, strip clubs, drug addicts, okay? There is no limit to the things that some Pisces, some things that these guys get into. Not all Pisces, but some are very, very eccentric, okay? Woo! Wow. I'm hearing emotionally filled, okay? Emotionally led. They may sometimes, they, they may have self-pity at times, okay? Sometimes they're not always logical because they, they run off their emotions, okay? Wow, they, you know, once again, Pisces is a water sign and they deal with their emotions, so, Pisces, you're very deep. Crosswatcher, if you want any more information about the sign of Pisces, please go research it. It's a beautiful sign, but they're not meant for everyone. Pisces also represents the fishes going in two opposite directions. Day 12 o'clock, they may be planning a, planning a trip to Mexico. By 12.15, they decided they want to go to Japan. Okay? They are mystical creatures. Okay? It's going to take care and diligence to deal with them. And they're going to rock your world in bed. If you never had sex with a Pisces, go get you one. But please use protection. They're going to take you to places you've never been before. They're going to bring out emotions you never thought you even had. Okay? They're going to dig deep in you. Okay? This is like, they're going to dig deep to that soul, baby. I know. I've had a Pisces. Okay? <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Virgo and Pisces are opposites. But yeah, they, they can take you there. If you're someone that's emotionally closed off, you, you should probably try a Pisces because they're going to open you up. But if you get an immature and emotionally unevolved Pisces, you're going to have a nightmare in your hands, okay? Because some of them just cannot be emotionally committed to anyone. An unevolved, unemotional, immature Pisces, they're not going to emotionally commit to anyone, okay? They give their attention to everyone. You may feel like you're special, honey. Every It's like 10 other people that feel the same way you feel. So make sure if you're going to date your Pisces that you get you a, you know, a very evolved, 
I'm hearing masculine Pisces male. Okay, my most Pisces males are masculine, but they have a very sensitive side. Okay, a lot of people say that the mask, the Pisces male, can be gay or bisexual. They're very sensitive, and some of them are. Okay, that's their business. But you know what? I'm hearing a very evolved masculine Pisces. They're, they, um, a Pisces man is like the man's man. Okay, he's like that man that takes control and takes charge of any situation. Okay, he's like that boss type figure. He's not going to let you walk all over him. And if you think he's sweet and innocent and that he doesn't have a crazy side, think again because he will bring it out if you provoke him. Okay? Pisces are a great sign to deal with, but you just got to know what you're dealing with before you deal with them. And if you don't, if you don't know what you're dealing with, if you don't know what you're dealing with before you deal with a Pisces, honey, you're going to soon find out, okay? Especially when you're dealing with an emotionally unevolved Pisces. So just so just remember that cross watcher. Yes, they can be very loving, very gentle, but they got that. Some of them got a side that you don't want to see. Okay. I love you, Pisces. I'm going to take some messages for you. Oh, I hope I'm the one you're thinking of. Someone wants you to be the one that they're thinking of. Okay. No. How, do, how does that go, Pisces? Someone wants you to be the one that they want to be the one you're thinking of. There you go. Okay. Somebody wants you to be on their mind. Okay. They want to be on your mind. Okay, I feel like this is mutual energy. Okay, I feel like you have a connection with someone or you have an interest in someone and both you guys are hoping the same thing. You're thinking that you're hoping that they're thinking about you. They're hoping that you're thinking about them. I feel like this is mutual. There's got to be a better way. Okay, yeah, you got to there's got to be a better way. You got to communicate. That's the best way. That's the only way. Communication, no communication is a relationship killer. You know, if you're not effectively communicating with the person that you love, then what's the point, okay? If you're dealing with an emotionally uninvolved individual, they're not going to communicate properly because they don't know how. I've been through a storm. No use in hoping you would come rescue me. Pisces, someone wants you to know that they've been through hell. They got tired of hoping that you would come be there for them. They had to figure this thing out without you. And they want you to know they got a little resentment. They got some resentment about that, Okay. They had to go through the worst times by themselves, and they wanted you to be there for them. They got sick of hoping you would come be there for them because you never showed up, okay? Cross watcher. Take the reading how it resonates. Pisces, this may not be your energy. It may be someone else. You may be the one that was hoping someone would come be there for you in all the times that you needed them, but they wasn't there. You may be the one that was hoping someone, you was thinking about someone, and they were thinking about you. Take the reading how it resonates, Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's a Pisces female that, that went through a whole lot of shit, okay? And you really love somebody, but they was not there for you. Wow. I love when you smile at me. I love when you smile at me. Pisces, you may be dealing with someone that's older here, okay? He may be a silver, silver fox or she. Take the reading how it resonates. We got March. We got a March Pisces on the board. You may be a March Pisces, okay? I'm here in March the 12th. March, March the 10th, 11th, and 12th, okay? Yes, this is beautiful. Your favorite color may be yellow. I love yellow. Yellow, but actually black is my favorite color. But yellow is beautiful. I'm hearing <laughs> honeybee, honeybee. There, there's something significant about a honeybee. I need to tell you something, and it's very important, okay, Pisces? They want to talk now. But, you know, remember, they wasn't there when you were going through that storm. But now they got something very important they want to tell you, baby. Okay? Are you happy with your life? They got some questions, Pisces. Are you happy? Are you happy? I can't wait to see you. Okay, you may have not seen this person since March of last year, I'm hearing. Okay, it may have been a year. It may have been less. But it's been, it's, for some of you guys, it's been over a year. And, you know, because you've been through a lot by yourself without this person. And you wanted them to be there. I can feel your emotions. I'm hearing that song, Runaway Love. Okay, is that a song, Runaway Love? I know a reader, she talks about that, Runaway Love. So this is like a runner. They ran from the connection. Okay, kiss me, drive me crazy. Yes, Pisces will drive you crazy with their kisses. I'm hearing, okay? No power on this earth can keep us apart. Wow, this is a very, very powerful connection. Someone simply is running here. There's a runner here. Someone is running from the connection. I believe you guys take turns running. When one comes forward, the other runs. Okay? Wow. Wow, this person has told you they're so sick of, um, you know what? 
They've been through a hell, Pisces, and they was hoping that you would be there, and you wasn't. And now they're telling you again, I'm so done with wishing you were still here. This person is getting so fed up with you, Pisces. Now, Pisces, remember, this could be you. You could be fed up with this person not being there for you. But they're letting you know they can't wait. I, I feel like this is Pisces energy. You're so done with wishing that somebody is still in your life, okay? But they are on a spiritual level. Emotionally, they're still connected to you. You can't wait to see them, okay? Your favorite color certainly may be yellow. But this person wants you to know there's no power on this earth that can keep you guys apart. There's some running and chasing going on. If you don't know anything about running and chasing, go look it up. Basically, it's, it's the power. The connection is so powerful that the one or both people run. Okay, you run from it. If you keep acting this way, you're going to lose my love. Pisces is fed up. Pisces is telling this person, like, I've been through a storm without you. I got sick of wishing you were still here. I'm so done wishing you were still here. I can't wait to see you. I need to tell you something. I hope I'm the one you're thinking of. There's got to be a better way. Okay? Are you happy with your life? But this person has to, this is what they have to say. No power on this earth can keep us apart. So when you do talk to this person, Pisces, I feel like you're going to confront a lot of the issues that you had with this person. Why weren't you, why were you not there for me? Where were you when I needed you? They're going to tell you, I love when you smile at me. They're, they're not going to want you to be, you know, aggressive or angry with them. But they're going to have to accept the fact that Pisces is going to come hard at their ass. You got some explaining to do, cross watcher, mister, or missus, lover of the Pisces. You got some explaining to do, okay? You're just not going to walk back in that door and think you're going to get away with anything. Or you're not going to just walk back in that door and think that everything is going to be kosher. Because these people, these Pisces are going to come for you. And you got to be ready for that because guess what? They've been waiting for it, okay? Mm. They know you're the one I want to give it to. They know you're the one I want to give it to. So this person may be a player. They may have multiple choices. They may be trying to make other people jealous by letting them know that oh, I got the baddest bitch or I got the most sexiest man. They may be using your name to try to make other people jealous. That's petty. Okay, that's an immature, unemotionally unevolved individual right there, Pisces. We got psychic gifts. Okay, you're very psychically gifted. I'm hearing teleportation and also astral projection. Pisces are known to be able to ask astro project themselves and telepathically and psychically connect to their lover they got a psychic link to their lover like you don't think pisces is connected they are deeply connected okay they are deep everything's gonna be all right this is what they're telling you pisces it's gonna be all right baby it's gonna be all right they want you they want to be sweet see they know they got to come at you with a very tender soft approach because if they come at you hard you're gonna go insane you're gonna go off on their ass okay they know they gotta come correct okay been a long time since it's been a long time since you called me how could you forget me like pisces got some questions for this person look how many times they, they're telling you cross watcher where the hell you been when the last time you called me it's been a long time how could you forget me i've been through a storm no use in hoping you would come rescue me i'm so done with wishing you were still here if you keep acting this way you're gonna lose my love this is what pisces is saying to this person like pisces ain't playing with you cross watcher wow you be saying no when it's really yes yeah it's yes pisces but you know what this is person they like to they're a runner, so they're they're not going to, you know, a runner, you you got to wait. I know you don't want to wait. You could go on with your life. But if you choose to wait, you got to understand that this person is a runner. Real love terrifies the hell out of them, and they run from it. They're just, some of them are just emotionally unevolved and simply not ready, in my opinion, okay? You were in my dreams before I knew there was even a you and me. You may have dreamt about, dreamt about this person before you actually met them, Pisces, okay? Let me know today. I need to see you. Pisces ain't playing with you, Cross Watcher. They need to see you today. You need to call Pisces right now. Okay? Call them. I want to make you feel real good inside. Like, this person wants to make you feel good, Pisces. They really do. They really do. They are afraid. I'm hearing they are afraid. I really need you in my life, but I'm afraid. My insecurities keep holding me back. My childishness, my inability to effectively communicate is ruining this thing. Oh, somehow your love set me free, Pisces. Somehow your love set me free. Now I don't know what to do, okay? 
I want to make love to you every now that they now they're talking Pisces. Now they're talking. I want to make love to you every night, every day, every night, every day. It's you that I want to make love to in every way. I can see forever in your eyes. They got a lot to say now, Pisces. You hear them? I can see forever in your eyes. They got some money issues. Financial difficulties are affecting this communication. They want you to know I think about you every day. I think about you every night. Your magical, mystical powers are alluring to me, they say. I miss you. I miss us. Pisces, they're talking now. I miss you. I miss us. Okay? Nothing turns me on more than being with you. Although I run from the love that you offer me, nothing turns me on more than being with you. They're going to have to man up. They're going to have to woman up. They're going to have to use that courageous spirit that lies deep within them and come forward and let you know before it's too late. You may like grilled fish, I'm hearing. Yep, you like grilled fish. Okay. They want to get it right in. As soon as they walk in the door, they want to take you right there on the floor because they can't make it to the bedroom. It's too far. They got to have you right there, right there. For some of you, this person's letting you know, I need some time alone, okay? This is a runner, okay? We got the month of June. We are officially in the month of June, baby. You may hear from this person this month. Open your heart. Pisces wants this person to open their heart. Open your heart, babe. You'll see that it's real, okay? It's real love. I know I should not have had you waiting. This person wants you to know they, they know I shouldn't have had you waiting. Don't run away. Just hold on to my love. This is what Pisces has to say to this person. Don't run away. Just hold on to my love. We're going to be okay. We're going to make it. Okay? Ooh, Pisces, woman or man, take it how it resonates. They want to go in slow. They want to take you slow, inch by inch, piece by piece, tantalizingly teasing you with their masterpiece. Ooh. <laughs> This may be a singer, a writer, or a poet. They may be an entertainer. They may be a singer, I'm hearing. Ooh, I want to see you in some hot shorts and a tank top. Ooh, he want to see you in some hot shorts and a tank top. This may be a Capricorn. Like, he want to see you sexified. But, you know, classy to himself, okay? I'm hearing to, to himself. He don't want to see you out in hot tanks and shorts. <laughs> I'm hearing privacy of our bedroom. Mmm. When you love somebody, you just don't treat them bad. Okay? This is what Pisces is saying to this person. When you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. This may be a Capricorn. I spoke about it. We got January. January. It may be a Capricorn. It may be an Aqua. Wow. I don't want you to go. I want you to stay. Woo. Pisces, they don't want you to go. I feel like this is mutual. You don't want them to go. They don't want you to go. You both want each other to stay, but this person has ran time and time and time again. Pisces, you may be the one that's the, that's the runner. I'm hearing there's a cross watcher that has been running, and they're watching the reading. As long as you're cool, I'll treat you right. Okay? This is what Pisces is saying. As long as you're cool, we cool. I'll treat you good. Okay? Oh. Um, baby, don't be scared. Let me kiss you everywhere. They're going to lavish you with their affections. Excuse me. They're going to lavish you with their affections. They want you to know, Pisces, I want it all with you. If you think I don't love you, it just ain't true. Judging by the sounds you're making, you want it. You need it right now. They know you need them. And they know you need it. Hang in there. They want you to know, hang in there. You're so strong. You're so strong. Pisces, they want you to hang in there. For some of you, they're not running. They're just guilty. Some of them some of them are having a hard time facing you because of their guilt. They treated you bad. They ghosted you. They lied. They cheated. Okay, they, they can't face you because of their guilt. That's unfortunate because they're going to have to put that to the... That's the truth. Spirit said, that's the truth. They can't face you because of their guilt. They're going to have to put that guilt and pride to the side and come stand... I'm here and stand toe to toe, man to woman, woman to man, man to man, woman to woman. They're going to have to face you. They're going to have to confront this fear and guilt. Okay? 
Pisces gonna haul ass because they already told you a hundred times, cross watcher, that they're not gonna keep waiting on your ass. And they they've been through the hell without you. Okay, they tired of talking to you about this situation. They're gonna leave your ass. Okay, for some of you guys, this is a Leo, Leo, Leo energy. This may happen in Leo season. He may come back around. She may come back around Leo season. We got the six of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Okay, they may have given you very, very, very minimal Pisces. I'm hearing this was a Cancerian. You guys may have played a lot of dominant and submissive roles sexually. They may have dominated you sexually, Pisces, or you may have been the one that dominated them sexually and it intimidated them. It scared the hell out of them. Okay, we got the four of Pisces, four of Pisces, okay? I'm hearing four of Pisces, so there's at least four Pisces that's watching and reading that this is resonating for. We got the four of swords. G oh, Lord, I'm hearing Geo. This person's name may be Geo. You may be driving a Geo. You may be from Rio. I'm hearing Havana, Cuba. Woo, we got the four of swords. They may be traveling internationally. We got the four of swords. No matter how far they go. They thinking about you, Pisces, honey. They dreaming about you. No, no, I don't care how big the distance is between you. The heart remains the same. The love remains the same. Yeah, this person is giving me somebody that's very macho. Like, they're very confident. They're very strong. This is someone that's very, very, I'm hearing effeminate and very, very masculine here. They may not necessarily like to show their emotions or show their feelings. This is what I'm picking up on from this person. They may have had surgery recently. They may be dreaming and praying about you. Or they're praying. This is someone that may like to pray. I pick up, I'm definitely picking up on Pisces, Cancerian energy. You both are very spiritual people. Pisces energy. We got the hangman. Pisces energy. They're getting they're getting some sort of confirmation and enlightenment in their dream state. Okay. I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this person is preparing. Oh. They're praying, but I'm hearing preparation. They're preparing. Okay, they are preparing. They know they gotta. They know they gotta face you. They know it. They, there's just no in in if buts about it. They gotta face you. I feel like this person is uh, definitely praying for strength. Will you have a drink with me? They say. Will you? They definitely want to take you out to a very public place when they come back because they want to make sure they're safe because some Pisces might go upside their head. <laughs> This may be a Gemini. It may be a Gemini. We are still in Gem. It, we still are in Gemini season. It may be a Leo. It may be a Scorpio. Woo! I'm here. Cancerian and Pisces, the best match on the earth. Okay, this is a very good heavenly connection. The Pisces and Cancerian, but it doesn't always go good. Okay, one may be a little more mature than the other. I'm hearing. Seven of coins, Taurus. It may be a Virgo. Virgo and Pisces are completely opposite. For a long time, this person knows they're supposed to give in to the connection. They know they're supposed to give you what you deserve, Pisces. You don't have to tell a grown man or a grown woman what to do. They should know what to do. And I think for a long time, they know what to do, but they've been running. They say, I'm the man. I wear the pants. I say how this thing is going to go. Well, how has that been working for you, buddy? How has that worked out for you? How? Please explain that to me. Because you're about to miss out on the greatest love of your life because of your egocentric, macho ass ways. Oh, this is somebody that's like a boss like figure here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that they go they could go all across the world? They could go to the moon, no matter how far they go. Your destiny and their destiny still are into intertwined together. So no matter how far they go, they can't escape this fate, F-A-T-E, this destiny. They can't escape it. They may try to fulfill their sexual desires with other women, other men. At the end of the day, it just don't matter because you guys are inter. It, it does matter. But in a, in a sense, it doesn't matter because that's just not going to stop this person from loving you. This is not going to stop the fact that they're destined to be with you. Some people say it may matter. But if you're not with this person, technically, you're, you're pretty much allowed to do what you want to do. Okay? They may be trying to fulfill that desire and love. Or they may just simply be trying to look for this love that they have with you and other people. And it's failing. It's not going to work. Okay? 
We got the Three of Swords. Libra. This may be a Libra. Pisces and Libra is very, very freaking good. Soulmates. Okay, we got the Six of Cups. Yep, yeah, this is somebody you're destined to be with, okay? It might be a Pisces, Pisces situation going on. This may be someone that has narcissistic tendencies, over cocky, overconfident, thinking they shit don't stink, thinking they all this, thinking they all that, only to be brought down. God will bring you down. This person is being brought down to their knees because there's no one else in this world that's going to do it the way Pisces do it because they're supposed to be with you. We got Aqua Energy with the star card. It's destined. Okay? This is meant to be Pisces. Continue to be your beautiful, awesome, fantastic self. This person is going to come around. Look, can, when they do come around, the first question they're going to have to answer is, where the hell you been? I've been waiting. I haven't seen you in forever. Okay? I ain't seen you in forever. What's the problem? You never had a girl like me? Do I intimidate you? This is what Pisces is saying. Or a man. Hey, do I intimidate you? Are you scared? You can't handle it? Mm. Because I might be too much of a man or too much of a woman for you. This is what I'm hearing Pisces say. But they want you to know <laughs> it's very sexually based. This person wants you to know when they're alone, they masturbate and they definitely think about you. Okay? They want you to know Pisces' final messages. I've been very, very busy. I've been very busy. But I haven't stopped thinking about you. You mean everything to me. You mean everything to me. I'm going out of my head over you. Give me time. I'm coming in. I love you. Have a great day.